Today is Saturday, May 27, 2017. This is the 420 Report on Tubi Blunt, and I'm your host, John Fowler. I hope you've got something loaded, rolled, or packed, because you know I hate smoking alone. My throat's a little tore up from yesterday's Twax Time Bomb still, so I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use see if I can use my roommate's uh, joint bubbler here. I got four stories for you, just as always. Um, again, links for all my sources are going to be below in the description. Starting with Governor Phil Scott today, having vetoed legislation this week which would have legalized recreational marijuana in the state of Vermont. Now, Governor Scott, had he signed it into law, uh, this bill would have made Vermont the first state in the union to legalize recreational marijuana by legislative action rather than voter mandate. He's not he he's indicated that he's not opposed to compromising on future bills, but he does he basically feels that this current one didn't go far enough to ensure public safety. Um, his lieutenant governor David Zuckerman, however, doesn't think that it should have been vetoed. Just as the first grower is licensed in Maryland, a judge has put a temporary halt to the program. The hold is in place until uh, they get the results of a lawsuit claiming regulators did not consider racial diversity when issuing licenses. New licenses to grow may not be issued by the Maryland Cannabis, uh, I'm sorry, the Maryland Medical Cannabis Commission until after the findings of a hearing on June 2nd. Maryland Governor uh, Hogan has ordered a study of racial disparities in the medical marijuana community. Um, yeah, they exist. Not sure why that's a surprise to anyone. The New England Journal of Medicine has published an article which concluded in no uncertain terms that CBD is indeed an effective treatment of Dravet syndrome, which is a severe seizure disorder. Uh, the study was double blind, uh, showed an average reduction of at least 50% of seizure frequency in 43% of patients using CBD, compared to only 27% of patients using a placebo. Uh, condition and quality of life improved in roughly 62% of CBD patients compared to 34% of placebo patients. Now, while the study did show a reduction in all seizures on CBD, it did not show a significant reduction of non-convulsive seizures, um, absent seizures and that sort of thing. So, obviously a little more, little more to figure out, but Clearly, with this, they can no longer say that, uh, you know, there's no medicinal value. Finally, we go to France, where La Tribune reports this week that Gerard Colomb, Minister of the Interior for the Felipe government, has announced a plan to decriminalize cannabis in France. The plan involves fines aimed at reducing uh, consumption and possession of cannabis, but some skepticism is still warranted, however, because the government has yet to kind of clarify what they mean by decriminalization. Uh, according to Cologne, they have about three to four months to figure it out. That's it for this week. For the 420 Report, my name has been John Fowler. I hope you all have a great day.